And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here as we continue on race weekend here from Daytona. It's time to determine the seven Go or Go Home drivers that will be racing in the third annual Great American Race Daytona 500. We have a total of 44 drivers who want those seven available spots. And here today, we are getting ready for two heat races with 22 drivers apiece. As we've got a car already on the racetrack, and that is uh, Matt McIntyre in the 25 for Anime Racing Team. Matt McIntyre making his return to the Hershey's Cup Series. Drove the number eight car back in season one, took a season off in season two, and now is back here in season three. Now I had to flip a coin at the beginning of these sessions to determine how many drivers from each heat would be transferring to the Great American Race. There's going to be four transferring in one heat and three transferring in another heat. But I had to determine whether it be four from heat one or four from heat two. So I flipped a coin, it came up tails, and therefore there will be three drivers that will transfer from this first heat, and there will be four drivers that will transfer from the second heat. That's just the way that uh, the coin was flipped and the way it came up. So. These drivers, these 22 drivers here in Heat 1, are trying to lay down the three fastest lap times in order to have a shot at being in this season's Great American Race. The rest of them will have to wait until next week at Rockingham, UK, to try and attempt and make that race. Matt McIntyre about to bypass a couple of cars there. That is Kev Shearer for Srigley Motorsports, the number 30 Papa John's Chevrolet. And Matt Dalio, who drove the number 30 for Richard or for Strigley Motorsports last season. How ironic that the 30 is coming out behind him, but he's over with Junior Motorsports now in the Quaker State Chevrolet. There's the 13 car of Nick Johnson. Sorry if I have to check some of these names. That some of them are a little unfamiliar to me. Nick Johnson driving for H. Scott Motorsports. Virgil Alonso and his own team this year. The number 37, Sam's Club Chevrolet. Colin Denton in the number 20 car. A ride that actually with rookie Marty Johnson last year finished runner-up at least three times to my knowledge. Denton for Joe Gibbs Racing. And there is Joshua Osborne and his teammate there, Andrew Davis. A couple of drivers out of Joanna Atwood Motorsports making their rookie debuts in the Hershey's Cup Series as they'll bypass the 04 of O'Neill Balvin, former pole sitter at Talladega last season. O'Neill Balvin for O'Neill Balvin Racing, of course. Chris Dollerton, the number 12 Honda Accord, the second ride out of Rage Motorsports, teammate to Joshua Michaels, the Liberty University Honda. And behind him, John Andrews returns for a second season to the Roush Fenway Racing number 17, sponsored this season by Fastenel on his Ford Fusion. Behind him is Jose Lopez, the number nine out of Richard Petty Motorsports. Lopez making his debut in the Hershey's Cup Series. And there is the second ride of O'Neill Balvin Racing, Italia Salinas in the Monster Energy Double Zero. Behind her is Garrett Sidner. We saw Sidner in the Sprint Unlimited a couple of nights ago. The Dr. Pepper Chevrolet in the 08 that was formerly driven by teammate Chris Dodd. Number swap between Sidner and Chris Dodd. Dougie Shears, still in the 21, but now a Chevrolet sponsored by Red Bull out of Michael Norman Motorsports. And behind him is, uh, boy, I cannot say the first name. I apologize. I'll have to work on it. But Jazzin, K. Jazzin, in the number 32, a second ride out of WF9 Racing. Stephen Pollard III, a former winner in Season 1, back in Season 3 in the Stephen Pollard Racing number 01 tied Ford, and behind him is the number 19 of Amer Amore Studemeyer in the Aris Toyota Camry out of Joe Gibbs Racing. Junior Motorsports has a second ride. That's the number 7 of Jeremy Jones making his return to the, the Hershey's Cup Series. Drove the 18 back in Season 1. There's the 07 of uh, Mitch Carter for Richard Childress Racing. Behind him, Michael Norman Motorsports rookie Daniel Gilbert in the National Guard Chevrolet. Session is almost complete, and right now the, tw the three drivers that would transfer into the 500 are uh, 
O'Neill Balvin, Chris Dollerton, and my mind is going blank. I hate it when that happens. John Andrews, that's who it is. I can never remember the name. I don't know why. Looking at the 27 here of Elijah Gordon, or the 29 rather, of Elijah Gordon. Drove the 44 for Red Dragon Motorsports last year. So Matt McIntyre makes his way to pit road. And oh wow, there's why these guys are up there in the top three in speeds. In this big group right here. Dollerton's in this group. Balvin's leading it. And John Andrews there in second with this group. Will one of these drivers get into the top three here before they cross the line? Did anybody jump up? No, they did not. And so that's going to probably make it official. Looks like a three drivers that will transfer from this heat into the Great American Race will be O'Neill Balvin, John Andrews, and Chris Dollerton. Just missing out are Jose Lopez, Matt McIntyre, Kev Shearer, Matthew Dalio, Joshua Osborne, Daniel Gilbert, and Mitch Carter. Session should be complete. Zeros on the clock. Session is over, and that will do it. So we will have at least Driver, one rookie that will be making his Hershey's Cup Series debut in Chris Dollerton. John Andrews and O'Neill Balvin no longer rookies. They raced numerous times last season in the Hershey's Cup Series, but they will have an opportunity now at a Daytona 500 victory. So congratulations to those three on making it from fourth on down through 22nd. Unfortunately, they will not start in the Daytona 500. They'll have to try and attempt to qualify for next week's race at Rockingham UK but we still have to determine the other four drivers that will be in the final four slots for the go or go homers in the great American race so let's head there now for our final heat race of the day and determine the remainder of the drivers that will make up the starting lineup for this season's great American race so we'll get ready here for our second session four drivers will transfer into the great American race from this one and that will complete the 42 drivers that will be in the Great American Race. Who is going to join John Andrews, O'Neill Balvin, and Chris Dollerton? Pretty big coup there for Rage Motorsports. Their two Honda is going to be in the Great American Race. Of course, Joshua Michaels already a chartered ride. And Chris Dollerton races his way in in the first heat. Got a couple drivers pulling out of their pit stalls and coming off of pit road. That would include... A former winner from uh, last season, Tripentacchio Vernio, who made his debut race at m and Super Speedway, the race just before the chase for the championship, and he went to victory lane. So Vernio will have to see what he does this season. Again, a non-chartered ride. We'll have to try and make the races. Maybe if he can make the Daytona 500 here, he could be a prime contender for that victory. Right behind him, Pichu London. We saw him in the Sprint Unlimited moving over to Fire Ice Racing in the number 87. Still a non-chartered ride, though, but this is his third full-time season in the Hershey's Cup Series, driving the Advocare Toyota Camry. And behind him, I have to check and see which one this is. That's the 097 of Chelsea Bowles. The reason I had to check is because both her and her teammate, Johnny Gardner, are running very similar paint schemes in this practice session with Rockstar Energy. Now, Johnny Gardner is running the same looking paint scheme. However, if he is able to qualify his way into the Daytona 500, he'll be switching over again to the tribute scheme we saw him run in the Sprint Unlimited. So just keep that in mind. 46 car of... Cody Hagen makes his Hershey's Cup Series debut. 46 formerly driven by uh, Davey Johnson last season. And then the year before that, Chris Dodd, the defending Hershey's Cup Series champion. That ride now out of H. Scott Motorsports this season, as behind him is rookie William Duncan for Roush Fenway Racing. His teammate John Andrews made the 500 back in the first heat. William Duncan going to try and see if he can get a third Rush Fenway car into the Great American Race. The Krispy Kreme Ford Fusion. Zachary Stoltz, back for a second season with Fire Ice Racing in the Dustless Blaster Toyota Camry, number 86. Seth Cole, his teammate Cole Baker, will be starting on the pole position for the Great American Race. Seth Cole trying to Put all four of the Seth Cole Baker Motorsports cars in the Daytona 500. So far, three of them locked in. Seth Cole, the only one that has not yet locked himself into 
the starting grid for the Great American Race. Jason Haywood, the only driver to KAB Racing Enterprises that has yet to be in the uh, locked into the Great American Race starting grid. His two teammates, Keith Batson and Cat Tellier, now chartered rides. And behind him, John Cittadino back for a second season in the number 83 Cosmo Toyota for Fire Ice Racing. Cittadino last season was a pole sitter when he drove this car. Sean Henley for Tweenix Racing makes his debut in the Hershey's Cup Series. Driving the number 57 car with uh, Madden on the sponsorship for that machine. Behind him, DJ Curtis makes his debut into the Hershey's Cup Series as well, driving the 77 for Joe Gibbs Racing. His teammate Matt Haas already locked up into the starting grid for the Daytona 500, and of course, as we saw yesterday, he's gonna be starting the outside of the front row for duel number one in the Can-Am duels as he was third fastest in pole day qualifying. Similar looking paint scheme to Tripentacchio Vernio, that's because it's Vernio's teammate, this is John Bunnell in the 232 car. Vernio deciding to move into a two car team, so we'll see how Bunnell does. As right now he is, I believe, well he's 19th fastest on the charts right now. Into his inside comes Isaac Canepa in the number 43. His teammate Jose Lopez just barely missing out on making the Daytona 500, and Canepa right now trying to get his way into the great American race right now. He is sixth fastest, now just dropped to ninth fastest on the charts. Jonathan Zorline, a rookie this season for Srigley Motorsports, the low Chevy Impala number 95. Behind him, you've got Cole Deaver, the number 66 Chevrolet out of Gardner Motorsports. Get some help out of uh, CJ Racing as well as AS Racing for that Chevrolet team. And behind him, the number 41. That is Jay Jefferson for Red Dragon Motorsports. We'll see his teammate in a little bit. There's another of the Tweenix cars, James McLeod, back for a second season, the number 51 car. He started on the outside of the front row for last year's Great American Race alongside of Joshua Michaels. And there is Johnny Gardner. He's actually found his teammate. That's the 96 and the 097 working together right now. As mentioned, Johnny Gardner, if he can make the Great American Race, he'll switch back over to the Brian Clawson tribute scheme for that event. Ryan George in the number 91. The second ride out of Red Dragon Motorsports. And behind him, Lyndon Wright in the DeWalt Tools Ford Taurus. Right now, second on the charts right now. He would actually make the Great American Race the way he's running. Running that ride for uh, WR Racing. James Qualls, we saw his two teammates earlier on in the first heat. Right now, James Qualls is running in 18th fastest in Castro GTX number 70. And the session's over. Wow, that really went quick. Tried introducing everybody. I don't know if I got to everyone, Driver but to your car. who are the four that will transfer? They will be Chelsea Bowles, Lyndon Wright, Pichu London, and Ryan George. Those will be the four that will transfer into the Great American Race Daytona 500 here for Season 3. And I'm trying to look and see. Yeah, there were a couple of drivers I did not introduce during the course of the session. And I do apologize, actually, I believe it was only one, and that was Daniel Olson, the 47, out of Anime Racing Team, but he was 22nd fastest on the charts. So, the drivers that will transfer into the Great American Race as non-chartered rides are going to be... My mind has just gone blank again on that driver. John Andrews, there we go, I got it. John Andrews, O'Neill Balvin, Chris Dalton, Chelsea Bowles, Lyndon Wright, Pichu London and Ryan George. So from Tripentacchio Vernio on down, those drivers will have to try and attempt the race next week at Rockingham, UK. But thank you all so much for tuning in to today's race. We now know the 42 drivers that will be in the starting grid for the Daytona 500. We've already determined the front row for the Daytona 500. Cole Baker on the pole, James Richardson in second. But where's everybody else going to start? We'll find out because next up here for this race weekend is the Can-Am Duels 1 and 2 to determine the rest of the starting grid for the Great American Race. After that, we'll have our debut race for the Almond Joy Series, and then we cap it all off with the third annual running of the Great American Race Daytona 500 to start off Season 3 of the Hershey's Cup Series. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys as race weekend continues on here from Daytona on the Ashley Sports Channel, offline racing at its best.